Um, this is the big paw. We made signs and we spray painted a sign to put on the fence. And we, you know, got Christmas together. We put the tree up and this way we could have Christmas in January. And we wrapped presents, got the dogs cleaned and ready to go so that they are fresh for daddy because I know they're going to be excited. Oh, 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 sorry. Last time he came home from deployment, Kuma, the littlest one, was his welcome home present. He was making so much ruckus that he ruined the surprise. He's like, what is that upstairs? And so I brought him down and he became part of the family. That's when he came back from Iraq. So I, he told me no surprises this time. No more pets when he came home. And so when you're apart, you realize how much you enjoy having somebody home to help cook dinner with. You have somebody that, you know, to watch TV with. And, and then you learn the little sweet things like making care packages or him sending a sweet love note in the mail. You realize what you have when it's gone. There's a point when you first get in country that it's nice just to kind of be away and create that, that distance and that, the, the feeling of missing uh, your other half, but then coming home and reuniting with that and being able to make up for lost time and just share the experiences that each other had uh, through that time is it's uh, just relives that honeymoon phase throughout the relationship time and time again and it's it's really awesome